Hey guys, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School. I'm back with another tutorial. This is actually a before and after uh, tutorial uh, in Lightroom um, on one of the photos that I took on my recent trip to Costa Rica. I recommend you guys go there and have a blast if you love nature, you love animals, birds, um, Jurassic Park style uh, uh, f uh, flora. You're just going to freak out over there. It's, it was a great experience for me, a lovely two weeks. Um, and this is one of the shots that I took while I was over there near uh, the, the arenal volcano. Um, this shot was taken from my uh, uh, hotel room. Uh, as you can see I had a pretty pretty gorgeous view from there. Of course this photo that you're seeing right now has already been post-processed and posted on Twitter and Facebook and whatnot. So I'm going to show you how I came to this final image that everybody seems to really enjoy from the original source. Now for you techies out there this was taken with my D300S with my trusty travel lens the uh, Nikkor uh, 18 to 200 VR um, and uh, I think the focal length was about 120 mils on this and uh, basically I shoot an aperture priority I think it was f5.6 ISO let me just check the data on this it's all here ISO 200 1 1 60th of a second 5.6 I was correct so there you go all right so how did I get to this shot let me show you the original shot which is this one so you can see there's a pretty big difference to arrive at this final version of the shot. Now, my logic behind this was pretty simple. The first thing I needed to do was boost the contrast here. And before even touching the contrast slider, I can see that my blacks are completely, completely washed out. So I, I played with my black slider right here, and I boosted that up. Uh, let me just see. I think around here looks good. So I'm getting some more contrast in the image right now. Uh, I like the exposure, so I haven't touched the exposure on this. Next thing I did was move my contrast slider. So I moved it and a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And uh, something like that. Now I'm getting some blacks, but I, I don't have any black clipping in here yet. There might be a little bit later on, but for now, I'm happy with this. So already looking from this to this there's a huge difference and I'm liking it already now let's boost the brightness up a little bit it's a bit dark so let's let's boost that up there was a beautiful sunny morning so let's boost it up mm, like that I like that I like that a lot now I, when I, I see some nature shots like this I always like to put in a bit of clarity since there isn't a sky or anything I just like to boost the, the clarity it, it gives a little bit more contrast as well so maybe around here that looks good Yep, I like that a lot. Now, of course, we're talking nature. We want the colors to pop a little bit. So let me let me just boost the vibrance up a little bit. Maybe a little bit of, of the saturation. There we go. Now that's starting to look like a sunrise, which it was actually. It was around uh, 7.30 in the morning. So the sun's been up a, an hour or so, a couple of hours. So again, let's look at before and after. And it's looking good. Now, if we compare it with my final image, what do we see here that I added? Well, basically what I've added was a graduated filter on top to add a bit more coldness or blueness in the in the top part of the image. And the next thing I did was some light painting uh, to bring out some orange here around this area. So let's do that. So I'll start with the graduated filter. Click on my color, go into some blue, and drag it in. Now this is a little too strong, so re-clicking on it, I have the intensity slider here. Let me just reduce that a little bit to about 40%. If I click on uh, my other image and this image, let me let me get rid of the lines here. It's pretty similar, a different tint of blue, but you get the idea. Next thing is using the the brush, going into an orange color and with a nice feather on the brush I'm going to start painting some orange in here. Of course you can see that the orange is too strong but uh, we're going to adjust that after. 
right on the edge. You see, I'm 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 taking in consideration the light on the image. This is really important. I'm not putting orange everywhere. I'm actually going where the sun is 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 touching. It's going to look a little weird right now, but you'll see once I bring the the orange color down, you'll see the result. Even on the road here, a little bit on the top of these bushes here just a little bit of a an orangey thing here an orangey glow wherever the sun is hitting on this mount here down here I'm doing this pretty fast here I would usually zoom in at a hundred percent and uh, go slowly and with a bit more detail but for the purpose of this video it's just to give you an idea of how to use the tools in Lightroom to enhance your image now if we look at the final image and the one that I just did now, the oranges are a little fake looking. So I'm going to bring this down just a little bit to around 50%. There we go. And if I look at my final output image and the one that I just redid for you guys, it's pretty similar. Um, I think uh, I've added a bit more orange here, uh, maybe some brightness in there. but. Um, if we look at the before shot and what I've just done in a few minutes, bam! It's not the same image anymore and that's thanks to Lightroom. So there you go, a before and after again, before and after and this is how you can bring out the complete potential in a nature image um, with Lightroom never even touched Photoshop to get in here just in Lightroom. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Yannick Chauvin signing out for Yannick's Photo School and see you guys soon. Bye bye.